Hey guys, I'm Kelly. And I'm Bailey. I know I kind of look crazy right now because we were playing with makeup early and trying to look funny. We want to talk to you guys about bullying again. I'm one of her friends that witnessed her getting bullied and got a bit bullied because I tried to stand up and it didn't really work at first. Well, should I start by grade three when it start all started? She kind of explained it in her last video, but I was a bystander. In grade three, there is a person that just right away looked at us and wanted to bully us, it seemed like. And actually one day, I had my head smashed against a portable because of the bully. And um, what happened was they came up to us and started calling us some stuff and everything. I'm not going to say anything. And uh, so we tried to stop it, but then I ended up at the end of the recess getting my head smashed against the portable and Bailey ended up getting thrown on the ground pretty hard and it was hard. Then mid grade three, more people started joining the bully and bullying us more. And actually, I don't know if she was here that day, I don't think she was. I got thrown in the middle of a circle and pushed around in the circle. And then we had to have a big class meeting about it. And it finally stopped. And then, was it grade four? Grade four, there it came back again. But new people came to the school and it started again. Grade five, as Bailey said in her last video, everybody started getting Facebook. And I was one of those people. And I never witnessed cyberbullying. I've never been cyberbullied. But she showed me some of these messages that she was getting and we didn't know how to stop it because we couldn't control it. And it's pretty sad because she's actually been going to the doctors for tests and stuff and she's probably anorexic. It's actually, she is anorexic and it's all started because of this bully over Facebook. As she said in the last video, they had a regular conversation and all of a sudden he just snapped and said she's fat and everything. And I don't think this is right and we should not be, we shouldn't have to deal with this and it's not fair to Bailey, me, any, anyone. And so many people have said so much stuff about her and I don't think that's right. And the bullies actually started saying stuff about me because I was trying to help her. And there's this other guy in my class who gets really bullied. You know, Darren. He gets bullied badly and we tried to stand up for him. And we did. And it worked. So we were really happy about that. Do you want to add anything else? Okay, so a little bit more about what she said. Um, I haven't really gone to the doctors much about the testing, but um, as I said in my last video, I've lost a lot of weight because of being called fat over and over again. Um, the thing is, though, one of the things that hurts the most is the fact that people you thought were your friends are telling you this stuff about and you. betrayed you. And I just want all you guys that are watching this right now, I know we've made a lot of videos about bullying, cyberbullying. But we just want to get it out there. Yeah. We want to help everyone. We need all you guys watching this to know that it needs to stop. Also, um, there we're in, in grade 7 now, and bullying, you know, with the, when you're out of school with just grade 8s also, it's hard because you get smashed against your lockers. Have you ever had that? Not yet. And I'm, like, my locker is in such a small hallway, and the grade 8s push out. And actually, there was this girl who was Bailey's, one of Bailey's best friends. And she, they don't, we don't go to the same school anymore. And all she does is trash talk to her about her. And it's uncontrollable and it's hard to stop because every day she just says something. And, you know, she's just rude. And I don't think that's right. And when people 
call people like ugly or anything. So many people believe it, and I just tell Bailey, as she said in her last video, you're beautiful the way you are, and like Lady Gaga's song, you're born this way. So we just want to get it out there. Also, guys, um, one of my main things when I do videos like this is to get out to all the bystanders and victims. And victims, um, the bystanders. You guys, as I always say, you guys just can't just sit there and act Have like you ever told them the Mr. McNally thing? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, all the bystanders, you guys can't just sit there and act like it's nothing because it's ruined so many lives. So many. And just next time you see someone get bullied or next time you go to bully someone, think of our story and think of how we felt in a situation like that. And think about all the other stories. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, because it doesn't feel good. And I know that if you do it, it makes you feel powerful. And maybe you have a problem of your own. But there's no right. That's not the right Take way. Take it out on others. Exactly. And it was sad because I would go to Bailey's a lot after school to make sure she's okay. And sometimes she would run home. Or not run home, but by the time she would get home, she was crying. And it was hard to stop because, as she said, the people you saw, they're, they're your friends. Check again. At our old school, there was a lot of back, uh, backstabbing, back talk, like talking behind people's backs. And then uh, a whole bunch of people said, that someone was saying something, and someone else was saying something, and then we just believed it, but we haven't talked to the person that they got told. So we just want to get it out there that back talking, back, back talking, uh, talking behind people's backs, like especially your friends um, or family or anything, bullying, sad bullying, any kind of bullying, it's not right, and you need to stand up. That's our video, and that's our story. Thanks for watching.